Hi everyone. Well, it is um, April and we are continuing with our National Letter Writing Month art and we are decorating envelopes. I found some stamps and some watercolor paint and some envelopes that had coffee spilled on them. And we just spend a little bit of time creating art on our envelopes. And I know some people do really fancy envelope art, but this is really simple. So if you have a stamp, grab some, grab your watercolors to, that you'll use to really enhance it. And we're not gonna do everything that I'm showing you here, but we're gonna do three envelopes and hopefully you'll get lots of ideas for more of your own. Hi everyone. Well, welcome to another episode of the creative season. We are in um, the month of April right now and it is National Letter Writing Month. And I was playing with envelopes and decorating envelopes and making them super fun. Just very simple ways if you wanna jazz up your envelopes. I'm gonna use some stamps, I'm gonna use some watercolors, and we're just gonna jump into it. Um, I had recorded the other day, but it just didn't really turn out great um, with some lighting issues. So we're back today. The sun is trying to peek out. It's a little bit better, but I just thought we would try this again because um, you know how it goes some days and some weeks. So I'm, I'm hoping you, you're gonna, you're gonna enjoy this. And also this is gonna encourage you to send out some snail mail. And I'm gonna go over a couple of the letters that I did earlier this week and just, just real briefly. So this one, I don't know if you can tell, but I had done coffee stains like all over this and I wanted to, I wanted to, um, I wanted to basically redeem it because I had gotten coffee stains on like a bunch of envelopes and I'm like, I cannot throw all these out. If it's one, well, it's one. But we're gonna do some splattering. We're gonna do a little bit of watercolor and I'm gonna start by doing um, a, just a stamp on the back of this envelope. I found some stamps when I had moved last year. I had brought them with me. I didn't even realize I had some hidden away, which was super fun. So what I'm gonna do right now is I am just gonna cover up this coffee stain with a little, with a stamp and then I'm gonna do a little bit of watercolor. So I'm using my Micron pen today and I'm gonna do some sketching. And I know there's some amazingly fancy, um, I think this was, yeah, this is the, the, the heart one. There's some really amazing envelope decorators out online. I have seen them, they're incredible. But I will also say, I, um, I love to see them, but a lot of times I have a hard time being that that much detail on my envelopes because I know the envelopes get thrown out and I end up doing, put more work in the actual art. I'm gonna just do this purple one, which I think is a little bit light, but I want my envelopes to be fun. Like I want this to signal to the person, you are in for a treat. So I'm gonna push the stamp down. I'm going over that coffee stain and then we're gonna just jazz it up with a little bit of a little bit of watercolor and once again my middle part is not great is it so i'm going to go ahead and i'm just going to fix that with watercolor i'm not going to try to restamp it because you know i always make a mess when i do and that might be your big take takeaway from this paint with me or decorate the envelopes with me is that you can um fix your watercolor art or your stamps with watercolor and that's really refreshing because you know what it's like when you try to go exactly over the stamp and it just doesn't work. Not a lot of fun, right? So I'm gonna go ahead and just add a few other colors in here. I'm gonna put a little bit of pink in this heart. In fact, I'm gonna take my Micron pen. And I'm gonna add a couple of hearts right here, just for fun. And kind of gonna hide, distract perhaps from the coffee stain. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead where it should have been trust in the Lord and it just is trust in the blank almost, right? So let's finish that up. We're gonna just go back over and that's again why I like my round tip paint brushes because they are really wonderful. And I can use the stamp to look at. We had a little curl in that R. You can use any stamp, and I have noticed too that there's been a lot of stamps on sale. Like if you go to Michael's or Hobby Lobby or Joann's, I'm gonna go ahead and grab some more purple. You can find a fun stamp, and of course the beauty of stamps is that you can use them over and over, which we love. I'm gonna do just a little bit of splattering, and then I'm gonna go on to my next Envelope. I'm not going to decorate the backs on all of them, but this one has such a pronounced stain, I wanted to do that. So this is the back, 
that's the front. You'll notice too, as I am, um, I do some splattering around this the um, the exterior. I like to create that sense of almost um, creating an umbrella around and just as to really center when I do end up writing the person's name and then my address there. Or I was even thinking on this one, I might just put the who I'm going to send it to right here and on the back I'm going to write my address so that there wasn't as much space on this one. That's an option as well. So this one was kind of crazy, but spring is so exuberant, right? That I want to do probably one more like that. But let's actually do a one that we're going to sketch. So if you have a micron pen, grab your micron pen and let's just do a little bit of a cute sketch of something you can do on the front of your cards. Sometimes, right now, you probably can't hear them, but I have a birds. Like, they are just having the time of their lives. The time of their lives outside. The little tree outside is actually in the apartments. They're actually the brownstones behind me. I'm in an apartment building. This street that I'm on is in an apartment, but behind me is our brownstones, and they have yards. And it has been so much fun to, I'm going to just do some leaves here, to watch this little yard transform throughout the seasons. Okay, I'm going to do some grass here, and I'm going to do some more grass over here. And we're probably going to do some splattering flowers is what I'm thinking. And now that spring is here and there's a bunch of little blossoms on the trees, the birds have been going crazy. They've just been going crazy. So you can see what I did here. I really did use my micron pen to create, put this here, to create just a very simple sketch. I'm gonna end up, my tree is gonna kinda go out like this and I'm mostly gonna just do a little bit of splattering. Now with envelopes, this is a regular envelope. It's nothing fancy. So it's not like a watercolor envelope, which you can buy and they will take a lot more paint. However, they are pricey. And um, I usually want to create, I, again, I, I just, I'm, they're not that thick either. So I wasn't really excited about the watercolor envelopes. They weren't like the watercolor paper we used. They were just like more of a textured envelope that I had purchased. So I thought I'm gonna just use regular envelopes, but what we're gonna do is we're not gonna load it with tons of paint because that would be too much. The envelope's gonna buckle or worse, it might crack, and I really don't want it to do that. So I'm going to just kind of rely on splattering and the micron pin to create what, um, just my, my little my sketch here. And again, these are quick sketches for our, our beautiful envelopes that are hiding, that are holding the our snail mail, which is really the treasure, right, that we want to share. I'm gonna go ahead and I'm going to just splatter some green and then we're going to then make create some little leaves and you can see we're moving through this fairly fast i'm doing this on envelopes but of course you could be painting this on a little card right this might be the exterior of a card now i'm just going to go through and i'm going to just create a little bit of a sense of those leaves coming out and this will be one too that I put my the return address on the back. And again, just moving out like this. I'm not worried that the green and the brown are mixing either. I'm gonna pick up some yellow. I'm gonna pick up another brush, pick up some yellow. I thought I was gonna pick up yellow. I might I left my yellow, so we're not gonna pick up yellow. Just kidding. I'm we're actually gonna pick up, I'll just pick up a different green. I've got a nice light green here. And I'll just do a little bit of that light green and once again just add a little bit of color there come on through here I'm going to go ahead and create my grass and my stalks for my flowers create these over here another layer of the darker green to create that depth that looks really good. I'm gonna go. I'm going to finish with some flowers. So we could do pink. We could do. We could do some purple. We were using some purple in the other one. And instead of doing splatters, what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna do lots of dots. Almost that's that sense of like maybe lilacs or not lilac. Maybe lavender. Which I think we're a little bit early in the season for lavender. 
but some of those beautiful purple flowers that start popping up. I'm going to just go ahead and keep dotting just like that. Again, it's a really fun, cute sketch on our envelope. And then you could also add a stamp, right? Now, we're, we don't have a ton of room, so you might it might feel a bit much on the front to then, oh, I did a great, I meant to, that should have been brown. Oh dear, okay, not a big deal. I am going to just dab it. Everything is, just about everything is, is fixable. We're gonna go ahead, I'm just gonna take my dark brown and we're gonna go over that. There, there we go. Sometimes I just start thinking about what I'm gonna do next and I don't keep my mind on what is coming and up right now. Okay, so let's, let me finish that tree trunk and then we'll think about that stamp, right? Okay, so that's about as much paint as I probably should put on there. And it's actually kind of nice because the watercolor that starts and stops creates a sense of texture as well. Okay, okay, and a little bit over here. There we go. We could put sore like right here, I could. Or what I could do as well is I could put it on the back just like we did with the other one, with the other stamp, and I think I might do that. I'm gonna do just a little bit of purple splattering here, up here. I know the stamp is gonna go there, but again, just that sense of creating a almost at a circular effect and we'll put the address right here who it's to and I'll put the stamp here when this dries what I'll end up doing is I will go ahead and I'm going to use the sore stamp I'll stamp it in green and then we will put it on back and I think just it will end up looking like like this one and I'll probably also color it in with some watercolor so let's go ahead and move on to our next our next envelope, and here we are, we're just a couple minutes in, and oh, we're about 11 minutes in, and we've got two envelopes done, a back and a front. So this one's nice and little. It is super tiny, so if you have a tiny envelope, what might be fun is if you take a stamp like this, and we're gonna stamp it, and then we're gonna color it in with watercolor. Okay, so now we've got the stamp here, and what I'm gonna do is I'm going to I've got my green ink here. I am going to go ahead and stamp my sore stamp right here. And it didn't come out super well. Let me grab the purple. I think my green ink is a little bit, it's just a little bit muted. I think it might be a bit old. Okay, that looks a little bit better, but I do want an odd number. So, well, I, I'm gonna keep it as two, two sores. So what I'm gonna do now is I've got green and I've got the purple and I am going to grab my smaller brush now, my smallest one, and I'm gonna pull up the purple and I'm gonna just add in a little bit of purple right here to the body and to the one antenna that didn't quite show up, and we're gonna darken the other antenna. I am gonna just go around in here and add in some detail, just like that. I'm gonna pick up a little bit of pink, I think, here, and I'm even going to just add in some detail, create a beautiful butterfly. Isn't that pretty? Let's see if I can come down a little bit closer for you to see, I can. So you can see I'm not adding tons of color, but a little bit of color. I'm gonna pick up some orange now. I've got a red orange on my palette. And underneath here, this is kind of bright and bold, but I like it. And again, over here, I'm going to put some of those over on the side little splatters, little splatters over here. And in the green, I think the red orange is really going to be pretty, right? That's gonna be gorgeous. So over here too, where it's a little bit faded, I am gonna go ahead and I'm just dabbing in, almost like paint with numbers, where you can just see some areas that need some color and some love. I'm gonna rinse that out. I'm gonna pick up some green 
and once again adding in that body needs so just a little bit of of love here a little bit uh, on the outer edges too and the antenna my O maybe needs a, just a little bit if you think about calligraphy too of maybe just doing like the bottom part just emphasizing part of the letter oh I hope you're enjoying this it has been a a really a good week but it's been a very intense week and so just coming and creating some fun art with like you know just I know that's gonna make other people smile and it's so relaxing like this is the kind of art too where I feel like the pressure is off um, as far as you know you know it's it's just fun using some stamps using some color nothing can really go wrong unless I like spill my coffee on it right and then even if that happens we're going to use it uh, for our benefit. So I'm going to put some more splatters there. And for the sake, and since we have our purple, I'm going to just do some, some splatters here. Super, super fun, super pretty. And I'm using this small paintbrush to splatter, so I'm not soaking it. I don't want to soak the paper. I want to just keep it light. And yes, it's getting everywhere on the table, but since it's watercolor, it's going to... Um, it's just gonna go it will it will be fine it will be just fine I will just wipe it off so now okay even look to this guy is looking really nice right I can even come back in it's almost dry so I don't want to touch it with the pen yet but I can even come back in and add a little bit more pen work and I'll probably just use this pen to write in the person who I'm sending the letter to so super fun super cute let's go ahead and do one more with stamps and I'm going to do, this is going to be very whimsical, and it's going to be kind of like the one I did the other day where I just was doodling hearts over the coffee stain. Um, it's just fun to doodle. I sometimes think that we have lost the art of doodling. I used to doodle all the time as a kid, and it can be just fun, right, just to make squiggles and just really cute cute things bigger heart down here and then I'm gonna go just grab my stamp the trust in the Lord with all of your heart and I am going to put it all in pink and I'm going to go ahead right down here and see if I can push it hard enough okay man I'm just not getting those those middle words quite hard quite right the Lord is still faint that's okay because I'm simply going to take my watercolor paint and paint it in there we go we have the O oh I hope my hair's not getting in the way okay hopefully not I kind of pulled it back today I think in one of the videos my hair was like in the video I thought my goodness nobody wants to see my hair I don't want to see my hair in the video okay and some pink some pink hearts all over if you want to do some splatters you can do some splatters you might want to add a secondary color I had used um, the color brown because I had again I had the coffee brown is actually really fun because it will complement pink and kind of mute it if you feel like it's just a bit too much like you really like pink Pink and green can be fun. They can be very, like, very springy together. It's a lot of spring. Maybe you want something that's just fun, feminine, but not, like, over the top. Too much colors? You know, use some browns. Browns and pinks go really, really well together. I'm going to come right over here with my, one of my hearts. Even with this heart, I'm going to go ahead and do a nice, soft brown. You'll notice I don't feel the need to paint all the way in, leave some white space, but I am going to add a little bit more brown here, and I am going to do some splatters. I think splatters are just add a little bit of a party to your snail mail, and I'll do a little bit fewer splatters on this one because I know I was a little bit overboard with my soar, but you know when you're soaring, sometimes the splatters just, just kind of keep soaring too. Okay, so a few up here, and then we'll call it a day. And once again, I can add in some color to my hearts or let a few of them 
as they are. If you feel like this, the Trust in the Lord is too cotton candy pink, you can also, I think I did it with this one, um, one of mine, that this one is still a bit messy. I, there was a lot of coffee stains, but you can see I added in some extra paint and you could certainly do that with this as well. Add in a darker color. I can come up here with like the Trust and emphasize that T just like that and emphasize all the letters. I can almost take out the kind of cotton candy pink with this deeper pink. Okay, and I'm just gonna do a few splatters down there and we're gonna, we're gonna call it a day. That looks really cute. Now, if you put your hand on it like I did right here and the splatters flatten, don't worry about that. Either, either add some more splatters or just let it go, either way. You'll notice there's some watermarks on here from the splatters or just from the paint if those will all dry out. I would dry, let them dry for about 15 minutes before you write on them. It's not a ton of paint, but your micron pen will still act up if you try to write on these. Um, I will probably end up putting another stamp just in the corner. I have another Bible verse stamp or a heart stamp that I'm gonna use. So I hope this was fun for you. If you have stamps buried somewhere, go pull them out and use them for your snail mail. I will link up to the other art that we did for snail mail earlier this month and I still have a couple videos all about letter writing, snail mail, and I encourage you, write a couple letters this week and um, just enjoy sending them off and being light and love in somebody else's life. All right, you guys have an absolutely beautiful rest of your